Uh, I play Patrick uh, Keenan, who is a friend of Joe Toy, whose brilliant idea it is to run away in the woods. And I play kind of the grounded character who looks at things objectively, as opposed to um, Joe, who, who likes to fantasize reality and view things as they aren't. And then there's Viaggio, who just is <laughs> the not popular king. Yeah. My name is Jamal Colorado, and I have kidnapped your son. Anne Fernie, Texas. Deshaun, Utah. Yeah, I decided on the format of Denzel Washington, a black first name followed by a state. Good effort, <laughs> although savagely racist. Biagio is not uh, is not really at the beginning uh, the friend of the of uh, the, the main two uh, characters. He just tags along along the way and um, just says whatever comes to mind and is just random and fun. Are you a randomly funny guy yourself? Yeah. Uh, some would say so. It's just this is completely different than my uh, normal personality. I, I kind of brought it out from just brought the most awkwardness possible with a mix of confidence at the same time. It's about having trust, and I was so fortunate to work with such incredible comedians and improvisers and kids who are great comedians in themselves and so it really was you know as long as there's trust and as long as you're all on the same page and you know it's important when you're doing comedy because you have to rein things in to never forget that like you're trying to service a story and trying to service characters you know as opposed to just the jokes because you can do stuff that we cut jokes out of the movie that are hilarious but don't serve the story at all can you tell me what the best improv scene in the movie is um, in the movie, there was one that didn't make it into the film uh, that Nick and I shared that was just hilarious. It involved uh, the grandma scene when she's in the kitchen. They cut most of it out, but it was, it was probably the most fun I've had on set. <laughs> well, I'll have to fantasize about that when I, when I see the movie. Deleted scenes, maybe. Maybe. We'll hope. So I sent the kids through improv, improv training. Yeah, for a couple of reasons. One, I mean, not so that they'd be super quick and funny or, and witty, but so that if I didn't yell cut, or if I wanted to change something on the fly, they'd feel comfortable adapting. Because to me, the movie is so much about just like little ticks and mannerisms about what being 14 or 15 is. You know, so I'm not 14. My writer's not 14. These kids are the closest thing to that. So I just wanted a real handful of moments, and it's like, oh, that you were loose enough on set, and so that came out. But also, you know, I sent them through improv training so that they they could hold their own with the adults. You know, and finally. The one scene that kicked you in the gut that you never expected would in this movie. That I never expected would. Uh, my favorite stuff in the movie is really the stuff that, that stems from the, the minds of the kids. You know, just the things where uh, things were gelling well enough that like something came out that was totally unplanned or totally unexpected that um, just is like raw and authentic and real. So, yeah.